Hey guys, so today um, I have my first, I guess you could call it winter tutorial um, or holiday inspired tutorial of um, ho the holiday season of 2013. I was planning on getting a Thanksgiving video up before Thanksgiving. It actually didn't even happen until after Thanksgiving, but this is kind of like, I don't know, this is my holiday tutorial for 2013. One of them, one of the many. Um, I have a lot going on. I'm actually about to film an update video right after this video, so you're going to see me in the same clothes for two videos in a row. But I wanted to go ahead and film a holiday tutorial for you guys because um, I haven't gotten one up yet. Um, and I just downloaded the new iMovie so I'm hoping I can do a good editing on this but anyways I just wanted to film this tutorial for you guys I hope you guys like it I did do a dark lip I will do um, I'm planning on doing at least three more I think before um, actual Chris Christmas comes um, and New Year's comes I'm gonna do a really really fun New Year's look um, but this is more of like a Christmas look if you guys have any Christmas parties or Christmas events to go to um, or just Christmas Day when you want to look really glammed up and pretty I really really like this um, it's just very very simple with the winged liner kind of glittery but still very neutral and a dark lip I think it's really gorgeous um, I did do berry on the cheeks kind of and yeah um, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So to start off, we're starting with our Sonia Kashuk Primer. This is just the one I'm using, and I'm just basically dotting it all over my face, and then I'm just going to smooth it out so it gives me a really nice, um, smooth base to start with for our foundation. And then I'm taking my number 7 foundation. This stuff is seriously amazing. It's a mousse, and it blends so well and just creates a flawless finish. And I'm using my Kabuki or my Kabuki, my Beauty Blender to um, smooth that out. Then I'm taking my Glam Flash Concealer and just putting that right underneath my eyes. A little bit of this goes such a long way, so I just took a little dab and smoothed it right underneath my eyes. I know I put a lot, but I love concealer, and I love to do the highlighted effect. I also put it along my nose, um, kind of going in between my brow bone, my chin, and my cupid's bow. And then, once again, I blend that out with a beauty blender. I feel like I have to have a really, really super flawless face when I do a dark lip. That's why I'm going so heavy on the foundation and concealer. And then I'm taking a powder. I forgot to show you, but it's the Maybelline Dream, or the Maybelline Fit Me powder, I think. And I'm just smoothing that all over my face, once again, to set the foundation. And then moving on to eyebrows, I am brushing them out to kind of tame them. And then I'm going to use my Maybelline Pencil. This is the, um, I can't define a brow. Yeah, that's what it's called. And I'm just doing the tail of my brow with that. And then I just took my Anastasia Brow Wiz Loose Powder. And I am filling the rest of my eyebrows in. By the way, all the products I'm using will be listed down below because I do know there are a couple items I don't know the exact names to, but it will all be listed down below. I'm then taking my MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer in NC15, or in W15, can't remember one of the two, and um, just kind of cleaning up my brows and blending that out with a Real Techniques brush. Then for bronzer, I'm taking my Jimmy K bronzer that I always use in Showstopper, and I'm just taking a Sigma brush and basically just putting that on my temples, and I did put it below my jawline and onto my neck, but I didn't show that here. But I'm basically just putting bronzer wherever I feel like I need it. And then MAC Painterly Paint Pot, of course, as my base, um, and my primer to prime my eyes for all the eyeshadows I'm going to be using. I'm taking Omega eyeshadow from MAC with this Sigma brush and I am blending that basically into the crease and a little bit above the crease. This is just going to be kind of like my transition slash blending color. It's going to kind of help all the other colors um, blend really well. This is MAC's Charcoal Brown, I do believe, and I'm putting that with the 217 onto my outer corner and into my crease.
And then I'm taking a big, huge, uh, fluffy Sony Kashuk brush, which is amazing, and I'm blending those eyeshadows out. And then I'm taking this NYX eyeshadow. Oh, I can't remember what this one's called. I will list it down below. But I'm taking that on a little, tiny Sony Kashuk crease brush and just putting that into the crease just to add a little bit of sparkle to this. And once again, blending it out. Blending is the key to this look. And taking my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil that I have a really hard time opening because it's a brand new one. And putting that just on the lid where I didn't put any other eyeshadow. This is going to be the base for the shadow that we put on the lid. And I'm taking my finger and blending it out really well um, so that it doesn't crease on me. And I'm taking one of these NYX Shimmer, Roll-On Shimmer colors. It's beautiful. I can't remember the color. Once again, it'll be down below. But you just roll it on. It's really simple. And yeah, I put that on the lid. And then I'm taking Carbon from MAC just to add a little bit of depth to the eye. And I'm putting that on the outer corner um, and kind of blending it into the outer corner of the crease. Then I took this NYX shadow. Once again, I don't know the name of it. And I put it as my highlight. And then I took this Milani um, eyeliner. It's like the felt tip eyeliner pen. This is amazing to do cat eyes with. Um, I really am not a big fan of liquid liners. And gel liners sometimes can be a little bit stiff or I guess dried out. So this I seriously love to do cat eyes with. So I'm using this. I find it very easy. This is the only really pen I've tried. So I want to try some other ones out. Um, this one kind of dries out really fast. So this one isn't necessarily my favorite, but it does work. Um, so I'm just basically drawing a pretty thick line um, on my eye. Not winging it out yet. I kind of just set my line that I like. Um, on both eyes and then I do the wing and of course you want to go thinner to thick as you go out to the outer corner of your eye and now I'm taking my um, eyeliner and I'm making a wing I'm going more of like an outward direction rather than going up with my cat eye and then basically just filling it in you can take your time with this and it will hopefully be the way you like it. Then I'm taking my eyelash curler and just curling my lashes. Taking Benefits Their Real Mascara and just putting a thin, thin coat onto my lashes. I like to do this before I put on false lashes because I just feel like um, if I put it on after, my false lashes don't last as long and I don't get as many uses out of them and it gets kind of messy and kind of clumpy almost. And I'm taking um, my false lashes, the ones that I'm using are the Adel Ardell's, I think, Wispies. And I'm just putting those on. These are my favorite lashes. I wear them pretty much all the time. The only lashes I really wear because they're so wearable, yet still are like a little bit dramatic to make any look look ten times more glamorous. And I'm taking that NYX eyeshadow again that we used in the crease. And I'm just taking that on a pencil brush and putting it right under the under no underneath my lash line and then taking a white NYX eyeliner pencil this one is in white pearl so it has like it's not necessarily a matte finish it has a pearlized finish and putting that into my waterline you could use black but I decided to kind of open up my eyes and make them more bright rather than dark um, and then I'm taking that roll on shimmer again and putting it in my inner corners taking the benefit with their real mascara again and putting it on the bottom lashes then taking max blunt powder and contouring with that um, I take this Sony Kashuk contouring brush and then I blend it out really really well and then I take this NYX blush this one is in desert rose I chose to use this blush because it's a little bit more on the rosy side and then I'm taking this highlighter by Revlon, I do believe, and just basically putting it anywhere I would normally highlight nose, cupid's bow, chin, um, jaw bones, and, or cheekbones, and my forehead, and then taking NYX's red lip pencil, I'm just lining the outside of my lips, and then I'm going to fill them in with that.
I'm taking Max Limited Edition color in Wet Joy and putting that over the lipstick. This is a very dark color. You can just kind of dab it on or just go full on and get the full pigmentation of this color. And that is the finished look. Okay, so that was the finished look. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, by the way, sorry about my nails. My nails are just a disgrace in this video. I didn't get a chance to do them today. But um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more. Um, there will be tons more holiday tutorials up for you guys before um, Christmas and New Year. So, um, yeah. Leave comments, requests, and things like that down below or message me. And I will definitely try to do them. I am trying to get to some requests now, um, but right now I'm trying to focus on holiday tutorials before the holidays are over. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.